Hi everybody, it's Sue Barber. Happy Friday. I hope you got to spend a wonderful 4th of July with your family and friends enjoying barbecue and fireworks this week. It was really, really great, especially having uh, it in the middle of the week in some ways is uh, kind of fun to get a nice break. Uh, I wanted to uh, spend today's video talking with you about a couple of things that I covered in the blogs this week. Uh, the first one was about career transition and really preparing for that and thinking about the things that you need to do to really set yourself up for success. And uh, one of the things that I did not talk about in the blog but wanted to share with you here is that I have a great uh, template that I could send to you uh, if you're interested in going through a transition like this for yourself where you're trying uh, to move into a new role or you've already recently moved into a new role. And uh, it's just a weird, a nice way to put a plan together about what you need to do. So learning new processes, learning new content, uh, building new relationships, uh, just planning out your first 90 days basically uh, so that you can be prepared for the things that you need to do to, uh, to really hit the ground running with that new role. Uh, the second blog I wrote was around uh, just really being prepared to build a team in the best way. And I think many times there is some bias on our part to pick some people to be on our team that are very much like us. Uh, they think like we do, they act like we do, we have similar ideas and maybe similar experiences. Uh, but what I shared in the blog this week was thinking about doing that a little bit differently. Try to find some people to put on your team that complement your strengths. Not everyone has the same strengths. And it would be great if you could have some people who are really good at financials, let's say, if that's something that's not your strong suit, or they're really good at organizing and planning things, and maybe that's not something that you're strong at. Because the best leaders have people on their teams that have diverse experiences, that are willing to push back and say that they disagree with you, that they're willing to, um, you know, provide the dissenting opinion in the room so that when you make a decision, it comes uh, in a way that you've thought about all the different angles of it. You've thought about all the different ways that it could um, have impacts. And those are the people that you really need to help you think about that. It really builds a lot stronger team if you can do that and allows you to be prepared for any type of challenges or obstacles that you may face because you've already thought about them because you have those great people uh, in the room with you. So think about that when you're putting together your next team or as you're building a team now. Uh, make sure that you have people who are going to provide diverse perspectives for you and allow you to really uh, provide the best decisions and the best direction for your team. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, it looks like we're going to have great weather here, so looking forward to it. And I hope that you are going to have a great week as well. I will talk to you next Friday. Thanks. Bye.